Okay. Um, so, hi everyone. Um, let's talk about some small brands. Because you've read the title already, so that's what we're going to um, discuss today. Because I think that fast fashion should be stopped, like completely. But um, I also see that that's for people who have less money and stuff like that. But then I also think like dress stores exist and there is already so many existing pieces. So fast fashion could really just stop. <laughs> um, so that's why I am bouncing because I'm sitting on my bed. So if I'm bouncing a bit in this video, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just wanted to talk about some small brands that I really like and that are also quite upcycling and recycling. That's the same, I guess. That are upcycling like um, old fabrics or dead stock fabrics or just um, pieces that they cut up and make something new from, you know? So there's something of that. There are also just brands that um, are small owned and really handmade so I feel like, like it's worth to mention them you know because they put so much effort in their pieces and why should you like support a big brand like Bershka or Zara if they're like fast fashion so let's just start I guess um, so the first one is called, also I'm gonna discuss like the price ranges and I am going to look on my phone because I saved them on my phone. So, so the first one is Fancy of, or Fancy Club. I don't know how to pronounce it, but you'll see it on the screen. Um, so it's this brand that is, I think pretty recent. 2021 so that's like this year so I do know that they also have a Depop shop and they have like a normal shop um, and also they they got I think like in my opinion they got very popular and went viral because of their mesh pieces that they make like mesh skirts and the unique designs of the tops and the leggings and stuff like that but they also make corsets and like gloves and just full on outfits, you know? But they do work a lot with mesh and that's really cool. And their designs and color palettes are so unique. The prices vary from like $300 to $90. So <laughs> it's like so diverse, the prices, you know? So I, I know this isn't for everyone's budget, but if you do have a higher budget, I think this is a great brand to support, you know? Even like just the fact that I do make customs is insane to me. The second one that I wanted to discuss is one of, it's like a friend of my friends, you know? So I don't really know her that good personally. Like I've met her and she's so cute and so adorable and sweet, like I can't get over her. Um, so her brand is called Atelier Vona. So it's like an underwear brand and they've like recently, like I think just like two days ago, they dropped like swimwear. But it's sustainable made. I thought she crafted the pieces herself, which is insane to me because she's so talented. The designs and the corsets and like the bras she makes are so cool. She makes her own printed fabrics and um, yeah, she also makes like pearl necklaces and things like that but the brand is just so elegant and unique to me like unique in the way of it has this classy feel yet it's like a bit fairy tale like in my opinion but still wearable um, and the prices really vary from piece to piece as well she also has a deep pop shop um, also called Atelier Vona, of course. But like for example, like here's like a bra that is 80 euros, but then she also has pieces that are like 40 euro, for example. So it really varies again, but I thought she also did like custom sizing, if you have like bigger breasts or something like that. So that's really cool as well. I just love it that she um, 
takes that in consideration, you know. Yes, I'm bouncing again. Um, <laughs> and then, like, this is one of the coolest Instagram pages I found, and I'm so happy I did. So, it's basically called. So it's called I I D K K K. Like, just I don't know, but like with a lot of K's. Um, but I think that the name suits so good with what she's doing because it looks like she doesn't know what she's doing I don't know if that's the thing that she does but it looks like a bomb as fuck, you know? And it looks so good and so unique as well and she like draws on the, on the fabrics and stuff like that and just, I don't know, she makes so unique silhouettes and there are like pieces that you can wear in like different ways and things like that and um... The things that she draws on the fabrics as well, I really love. It's so unique, so cool. Wouldn't think of that even. And like, this one I'm going to show you right now is like one of my favorite pictures, like that top. And just the fact that she like combined like matched that uh, black with like the mesh and then the mesh puff sleeves, but then drew this kind of snake thing on it. It's so cool. It's still elegant, but like, in a funky way, you know? But these pieces are so cool and I personally think that they aren't that expensive because you have to take in consideration that these pieces are handmade so it does take a long time and I know that because I make clothes myself for myself I make clothes for myself so I, kn I know that it takes a long time this top for example for like 50 euros or like a dress for 100 euros but it varies as well from piece to piece and like even things of like 20 euros so it's very like versatile as well but I just love that it's like handmade and it's an Etsy shop so that's so cute to me um, because I don't see that often anymore but I'm not that much on Etsy as well so maybe that's why uh, then another small brand this is like my favorite one and I want to buy all the pieces and I probably am going to buy some pieces in the future, like the near future, because I want to do like a, how do you call it? How do you call it? A review. <laughs> I wanted to do a review on this brand. Um, <laughs> wow. Again, I don't know how to pronounce it because it's, in, it's based in China. So I don't know how to pronounce Chinese words the correct way. So don't come for me. But it's called Aerokori, Aerokori, I don't know. It's just cute, okay? <laughs> like, there's this kind of skirt that looks like a towel material, but like, there's a cool print on it, and this mesh skirt with these cool futuristic designs on it. And just the silhouettes are so unique as well. And they have like wrap kind of tops and like headscarves and they look so good like so good it's also just a smaller brand and the thing with these brands is all these brands that i'm discussing right now i don't know and i don't get it why there's this small like for example this is just five thousands almost six thousands like followers and then like volna for example has two thousand on instagram even though she like deserves a lot more it's just insane to me that you know and also like for example this designer as well it's just one person that makes the pieces and like, what like i don't get it that it's this small and like she puts so much effort in these pieces because you can tell that's kind of going off topic so for example the skirts cost um as i can see here 150 pounds um and it's something around that range of like a hundred pound per piece i thought there were cheaper ones yeah there's like this top of 90 pounds so it is quite expensive but um also what i like to do with these kind of brands if they're smaller i like to look if someone tagged them and you can see from all other people their pictures as well that the quality is so high in the pieces and that they look good because I know that you know if you're a brand you take like the best picture for your piece but you know these people um, that make these pictures for themselves they're just making it because they want to you know so the fact that you can see on those pictures as well that 
it's good quality, just it says no for me, you know? Um, so I really love this brand as well. And also, I don't, I don't even know if I'm explaining things well, I just want to show you the brands I like that are small and should have more recognition. Rec I can't talk! That have more recognition. That deserve more recognition. Recognition. Recognition? Is that right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. So the next one is Vergonic. Vergonic, I think that it's pronounced. It's by um, Linmic on Instagram. The brand like her little small brand that she has <clears throat> she makes so cool and unique pieces like i mean i don't know even how to explain it like it's just so good and it's all handmade by her um because you can since i'm following her i see that she posts it when she like makes pieces and kind of like a behind the scenes how she's doing it and i love that as well that she shares that but what she does the most is like knitting because you, I mean, you can see that she loves knitting um, and she dyes like her own fabrics and she has this like unique designs and I think that is kind of like her trademark in my opinion is she puts these kind of weird shaped circles on her clothes like on a lot of them and yeah, it's just so cool and she makes like three pieces, like a top that's actually three tops, you know? And just very cool color combinations, um, very earthy tones, but still very colorful. And yeah, she also has a Depop shop. I thought she also made customs if you ask for it, so that's really cool as well. And then um, one of her friends actually also has a shop, which is very cool as well. It's for accessories, it's called Wounds and it are these kind of like it's also very unique to me it are these kind of jewels but strings of the necklaces and stuff like that they look like wool like you know this kind of wool that you poke till it gets like the shape you want like it looks like that like a very coarse wool but she also has beaded necklaces and like waist wraps I thought she had as well. These kind of body chains with this cool like wool material and she uses a lot of sea stars from what I can see. And just very cool glass beads and yeah this brand is like so cool as well. The next one, I'm really sorry if I'm looking down the whole time. So it's this, uh, it's called Giami, but like the Instagram name is like 7911391, no, 901. Yeah, I think it's also like made by one person. This brand, is, this is like really my style. It's It really gives me like archive fashion vibes. And like the silhouettes are like so cool. Also very muted colors, like a lot of greens and beige and gray but the silhouettes are so unique that you don't need a lot of color you know and she makes like very cool constricted um how do you call it corsets and like these kind of hats that look like the hats from the renaissance or something like that of like the release but it looks so cool and um, she has her own website the prices were a bit higher from what I knew but also the shop looks so cool like so aesthetically pleasing yeah there's nothing on here right now because I think she's sold out but the pieces are really cool really unique so the next brand is called Urticat Urticat I don't know <laughs> um, it's also handmade but they have this really cool silhouettes and patterns going on and the pieces that i've seen that went viral are these like crop tops with long sleeves with the spiral on it and like the trousers that go with it but their pieces are so cool and i think this is like a very cool brand for people that are into like the fairy or fairy car aesthetic um because it gives this kind of fantasy vibe like it the clothes kind of look like a game character clothes, you know? But 
in a wearable way yeah she has a shelf as well and i thought it was a bit more expensive Expensive. It's like a top is 200 euros or like 150 so it varies again I, I see that she's doing like a sale right now so I mean if you want one of these pieces you should shop right now <laughs> so the next one is called snake divine really cool name um, it's also handmade like the clothes and the jewelry and the clothes are like I wouldn't say like very simple shapes and silhouettes it's kind of more to the um, kind of basics of sh silhouettes but like they have really cool like um, patterns and pictures printed on the fabrics and that makes it really unique and the way that they stitch the pieces as well and their jewelry is like super cool as well so and they use a lot of mesh as well and lace and yeah just the way that it's printed and like the graphics on it are so cool and unique so that also helps with making something less basic you know and it's not like these pieces are all like basic shapes but they have more day-to-day -day shapes as well so they also have a website but they also have a depop so you can find them on both and a top runs for around 80 euros to like 100 euros I can't really see anything cheaper than 80 but these pieces are so cool and I think they really are worth the price you know this brand is like I don't know it's like the coolest name ever um, yeah so it's called Som stomach of your dead soulmate love that right so it's also handmade um, they have really cool pieces like i said about all these brands but it's just because they all have really cool pieces and i'm sorry if it sounds a bit annoying if i'm saying that but that's my opinion so also i saw them go viral as well because of the hats that they make very cool seen them everywhere and they also do like cool prints on t-shirts and like on lacy camis and stuff like that and like a hat is like 60 dollars and for example the top is also 60 dollars maybe everything is 60 dollars who knows there are also things of 30 dollars so you know it's like pretty cheap in my opinion yeah i think for a small brand it is cheap like 30 dollars for like a cool printed lacy top okay and so the last one that i wanted to to talk about is called Nash or Nash, I don't know. I am pretty, I was pretty surprised about this brand because when I first saw it, I thought it would be like very expensive because of the designs and it just gives this more luxurious kind of vibe, but still, yeah, she has like very cool designs, like I'm saying. And from what I can see, she only works like you know, like mostly black and white clothes with some pops of color sometimes um and she was doing a sale i don't know if it's a she or he that's so i know they were doing a sale um the brand but i i don't know some pieces were like a bit more expensive but some weren't as well and um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i had a lot of fun talking about this because it's a big passion of mine to find new ways and new what to find a way to style things and new upcoming brands and brands that just started but that are cool you know um or just smaller brands in general so yeah if you like this video um feel free to like and subscribe i hate to ask that but it really does help my channel so that's why i'm doing that um and just let me know what brand you like the most because for me personally I like like Airikori and Giami the most so let me know and I love you guys I'm gonna stop filming right now just know that I'm always thinking about you guys I hope you all have a great day bye